the general term of the given series, let's denote it by ur, is equal to 1 upon r times r plus 3. Now multiply and divide by r plus 1 times r plus 2. Therefore, ur is equal to r square plus 3r plus 2 divided by r times r plus 1 times r plus 2 times r plus 3. This can be written as r times r plus 3 plus 2 in the numerator and the denominator is r times r plus 1 times r plus 2 times r plus 3. UR can therefore be expressed as the sum of two components. The first component is R times R plus 3 divided by R times R plus 1 times R plus 2 times R plus 3. And the second component is 2 divided by R times R plus 1 times R plus 2 times R plus 3. R times R plus 3 cancels across the numerator and the denominator of the first term. And in the second term, we multiply with the expression r plus 3 minus r, which is equal to 3, and therefore divide by 3 as well. Therefore, ur can be written as 1 upon r plus 1 times r plus 2 plus 2 upon 3 times in brackets r plus 3 divided by r times r plus 1 times r plus 2 times r plus 3 minus r divided by r times r plus 1 times r plus 2 times r plus 3. r plus 3 cancels in the middle term and r cancels in the last term. The first term can be written as 1 upon r plus 1 minus 1 upon r plus 2. And therefore, ur is equal to 1 upon r plus 1 minus 1 upon r plus 2 plus 2 upon 3 times in brackets 1 upon r times r plus 1 times r plus 2 minus 1 upon r plus 1 times r plus 2 times r plus 3. Let's denote 1 upon r times r plus 1 times r plus 2 by vr. Therefore, the last term inside the brackets is equal to vr plus 1 because it's the same as vr with r replaced by r plus 1. Therefore, ur is equal to 1 upon r plus 1 minus 1 upon r plus 2 plus 2 upon 3 times in brackets vr minus vr plus 1. Let's denote the expression in the first bracket by pr and let's denote the second term by qr. Therefore, Sn, which is the sum of the first n terms of the given series, is equal to summation Pr plus summation Qr, where R goes from 1 to n. Now we first evaluate Pr, which is equal to 1 upon R plus 1 minus 1 upon R plus 2. Put R is equal to 1. P1 is equal to 1 upon 2 minus 1 upon 3. Put R is equal to 2, P2 is equal to 1 upon 3 minus 1 upon 4. Put R is equal to 3, P3 is equal to 1 upon 4 minus 1 upon 5. And so on, put R is equal to n, the nth term Pn is equal to 1 upon n plus 1 minus 1 upon n plus 2. Summing up these equations, the left hand side is equal to summation PR and the right hand side 1 upon 3 cancels with 1 upon 3 in the next row, 1 upon 4 cancels with 1 upon 4 in the next row and so on till we are left with only two terms on the right hand side and therefore the right hand side is equal to half minus 1 upon n plus 2. Now we will evaluate summation QR. Recall that QR is equal to 2 upon 3 times VR minus 2 upon 3 times VR plus 1. 
where v r is equal to 1 upon r times r plus 1 times r plus 2. Now put r is equal to 1, q1 is equal to 2 upon 3 times v1 minus 2 upon 3 times v2. Put r is equal to 2, q2 is equal to 2 upon 3 times v2 minus 2 upon 3 times v3. Put r is equal to 3, q3 is equal to 2 upon 3 times v3 minus 2 upon 3 times v4 and so on and so forth. Put r is equal to n. Qn is equal to 2 upon 3 times Vn minus 2 upon 3 times Vn plus 1. Summing all of these equations, on the left hand side we get summation Qr and on the right hand side 2 upon 3 V2 cancels with 2 upon 3 V2 in the next row. 2 upon 3 V3 cancels with 2 upon 3 V3 in the next row and so on and so forth till we are left with only two terms on the right hand side and so the value of the right hand side is equal to 2 upon 3 v1 minus 2 upon 3 vn plus 1. Now recall that vr is equal to 1 upon r times r plus 1 times r plus 2 and therefore putting r is equal to 1 v1 is equal to 1 upon 1 times 2 times 3 which is equal to 1 upon 6. Therefore, summation qr, where r goes from 1 to n, is equal to 2 upon 3 times in brackets, 1 upon 6 minus vn plus 1, which is equal to 1 upon n plus 1 times n plus 2 times n plus 3. Substituting these values of summation pr and summation qr, sn, which is equal to summation pr plus summation qr, is equal to 1 upon 2 minus 1 upon n plus 2 plus 2 upon 3 times 1 upon 6 minus 2 upon 3 times n plus 1 times n plus 2 times n plus 3. This is equal to half plus 1 upon 9 minus 1 upon n plus 2 minus 2 upon 3 times n plus 1 times n plus 2 times n plus 3. And therefore the sum to n terms of the given series is equal to 11 upon 18 minus 1 upon n plus 2 minus 2 upon 3 times n plus 1 times n plus 2 times n plus 3. And this is the required answer.